You know, I think that all of us have um, instilled within us the ability to tell stories. From my perspective, stories are, are really the kind of the engine of, of growth, not just growth for a business, but also growth for us as people. And we were all lined up. He was there, he was having a good time. Um, Barbara comes in, Secret Service detail is there as well, and he breaks the news to them. And Barbara, by this point, she knew him pretty well. And she points at President Bush. She says, if anything happens to him, I will kill all of you. <laughs> he said, we got it. That's <laughs> fair enough. You know, for me, it all started with these kind of failed efforts to be able to, um, to answer people's questions. Uh, it's very difficult, you know, sometimes to tell people, you know, what it was actually like, you know, when you're um, in a war zone or a crisis zone. He said, no, no, he said, you need to come out. And he said, I said, why? He said, because uh, Colonel Ahmed is about ready to execute somebody. So I go out and, uh, and I spent the next 20 to 30 minutes trying to talk him out of executing one of these prisoners. Abraham Lincoln one day met Harriet Beecher Stowe, the author of Uncle Tom's Cabin. And uh, when he met her, he shook her hand and he turned to his staff, he said, so this is the little woman who started the Great War. Stories matter, folks. Being able to interact with people and to, to hear their stories, especially after I've told them mine, for me, then it becomes a real conversation. And, um, and when you get to that point, you, you kind of strike a vein and you're able to, to really kind of find a, a lot of good common ground um, between you and, and, uh, and your audience and the people that come up to you afterwards and say, this is my story.